hello dear friends so this one I am doing some cars it's not the right color voila I need some color contrast use my magic wand and uh, I am doing some cars so this is a blah 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 about relaxation each of us has uh, a different way of relaxing and for me one of the very effective way is to do something that producing and uh, just sitting there and do nothing it's not a good way for me particularly to relax. I feel wasting time. So I always try to do something. And do something that do not use a lot of brain power. For example, very mechanically doing this paper folding. So it's one part of my production. And I am selling these cars, so it makes money, it makes me feel that I'm not wasting my time. Just doing something do not produce any money, produce any money, any real result. I do not feel good because uh, I am not a rich person that can just give donation. By, by, by having money, I do not have money, and the best donation for myself is the best donation or the best contribution I can do to this world is not to help other people, is to help myself. Only when myself is independent can I have the way and means to help other people. Do I make sense? This may sound very selfish, but uh, I make sure that I do things that is true to my heart and true to the meaning of my life, at least. I do not think I can help other people if myself do not have a job, do not make money. I need to at least have some of my own financial means to be independent and to feel independent. This is why when I lived in Australia, I lived a very happy life, but still in the deep, very deep of my heart, in the heart of my heart. I feel that uh, I feel quite lost because uh, because I'm not making money. I'm not helping the family. We are not a rich family like some. There are people that are just lucky and do not need to work or do not. I am not that kind. I still need to work to make money, to make my family happy to make otherwise we will be living in starvation or anyway no need to talk about that so it is very relaxing to do some of this work for me and I enjoy it and uh, Oftentimes, doing these very mechanical things really brings a lot of joy. Oh, not so good. The glue stick is not very good. I need to change a glue stick. Let me see if I can find some. I used to have tons of glue stick. Not use the word tons. I always have blue 
stick everywhere in the place I do not need. And uh, whenever I need it, I do not have. me I think I need to go to the other room maybe in my children's pencil box their school supply usually have Oh, Leo does not have a blue stick. Quasi mania. And this one won't be full of Coming back. Did I tell you it's not possible for an art teacher running out of glue stick? <laughs> I have a lot of glue stick. Just when we need them, it is disappearing. But I will find them back. Let's see the good big one is still working or not. If this one working, that will be a good one. I like big Oh, it is good one. It's so smooth. Let me just throw away the not working one so that I will not be frustrated. I'm out of the idea. And yes, maybe I should chat with you about my tea. I am drinking a cup of uh, almond tea. This one is uh, des verres à la monde. So first I should apologize. Apologize to for what I have said uh, in the other video. I said this tea is not my favorite. 
And today, I just just this tea. I feel it is quite a very fragrant, and uh, it's a, it's a very balanced flavor. It's not a, just a strong flavor. Look at this tea. It's beautiful tea. Green tea with almond. It's like. A, it's like uh, drinking tea and eating an almond uh, cookie or almond uh, almond um, galisson. It's very much look like feels like eating a piece of little galisson cookie while drinking tea, and it's very pleasant. It's very pleasant. So, from time to time, we definitely should try new things and do not block ourselves and do not always think that uh, something do not fix our brain to some particular thing. And, uh, it is not fair to say that those tea are not good. Maybe because, only because you are not in the right mood, it's nothing wrong with the tea. It is something wrong with your own emotion, with your own problem. So here I feel quite sorry and feel quite unfair to so say those un pleasant thing to that tea is uh, just open up our mind and we can see the world differently differently not always the same not always the same it is good not good to see the world all the ways the same. It is not good to see the world always from one perspective because sometimes your perspective may not be the right perspective or your perspective may not mm, be fair for this thing. Your perspective may be limited, limited to your emotion, I mean me. My perspective is limited to the particular emotion I am in, particular mood I am in, and it's not a true representation of uh, of what we usually are. This one, definitely, I will throw it away. From experience, I know it is important to have good tool, right tool. Do not suffer for the tool. And sometimes in my class, so now every year we teachers have a certain budget to buy art supply, uh, to buy classroom supply and things. And I try my very best to make sure every material, material I bought, everything I buy is the best. May not be the most expensive, but the most usable, useful, and comfortable for my students. It will change life. It will make everybody's life easy. Uh, for the black thing, when we need dark color, I bought Sharpie, a lot of Sharpie, and they are so happy to use that smooth line, the Sharpie line, and uh, just uh, perfect. So we need to have some material. Do not be mean. Just get the right material. 
and it makes everybody's life so much easier. And uh, you will have less trouble, less stressed students, happier students, controlled class. How good is that? Everything will turn to the direction of favoring you. So just be generous. Do the right thing. I'm sorry I'm distracted by the noise. Whenever there's people walking around, especially when my family is running around, walking around, I feel kind of shy or kind of nervous. Then it uh, makes my medium suddenly become a little bit awkward. Okay, now nobody is here. I am back to my own Bahadi. So happy. Okay, now I need to go to send it out and also I have made some large cards. Uh, this one I sell on my uh, YouTube shop. No, no, not YouTube shop. On my... Mm, on my... Um, on my... Um, on my shop. On my ET shop. Oh yes, here. Oh, how pretty they are. And these I am also making it out to sell on my shop. And these are all not the same size. They may not be the right size. I don't know because why do I cut it all not the same? Some some bigger, some smaller. This one is narrower. This one is wider. But uh, they roughly all fit into this card. So I am starting to do some of these bizarre cards. Shall we call it bizarre or different? Usually those cards are, are a pretty a very pretty um, light colored painting or drawing or, or, or print, usually print. This is my hand drawn. I think I want to put it into good use. I don't know if people think this is a good use or not. Anyway, I am trying to sell it. <laughs> Please excuse me, this very, very greedy person. I'm trying to sell it, so I make this kind of card. I think this is different. Let me do not shamelessly call it unique. I think this one is relatively different from what we see in the market. Don't you agree? Sure, you do not need to be agree. So. Um, if any of you interested, I put it on my ET shop. You can click on the link and find them. Now you see how it is made step by step. And uh, you see the making of it the industrial production of it with the familiar family noise that's hockey one and two and three and four now I use this uh, magic wand because um, 
I do not get my finger hurt too much. It is already becoming so used. I do not want it to be too used. I want to be... Um, um, <laughs> I want to be a lady instead of being just a hard worker. I want to have uh, uh, at least a decent hand, not just a rough hand, not always rough hand. So I use this magic wand, that will help. I'm running out of paper, need to get some more. Running out of paper, it's okay. Now I do this, and when I find more paper, I will put on more paper. When the time is right, it will be right. When the time is not right, it will not be right. Let it be, let it be, let it be. at any minute I do not know which minute but any minute me doing something or watching this magazine don't you agree this is a pretty magazine right this is a um, pottery and bun I feel sorry for them to send me this and I cannot find the right use of it yes these big companies they have just too much money to to spend on people like me, which does not bring any result. If I need, I will check online, check their catalog, or go to their shop. But they keep one or two time I need those catalog, but usually I do not need. But still, they are just so generous and shipping to me this catalog. And shipping to me and many other people like us which does not cause any result. I think that is not a very smart use of their money. And I do not know how I can inform them that uh, it is please try to stop printing those beautiful, oh, this young lady, Please stop printing or sending so many catalogs. There will be many, many trees cut out because of these catalogs. And we have internet, we do not need so many catalogs. Everything is online and the shop is still not yet closed bankrupted and still there are shops existing they have shop please do not print so many catalogs it is uh, just some magazine we spend money to buy magazine i will be happy but print this catalog oh i feel my battery is done and uh, the memory card is coming to the very end. Let's just look at these uh, designs. <sighs> How did I sort about it?